Hello everyone. Today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about the money-making mindset and what that means. So my explanation of the money-making mindset is this. If you have reached a point in your life that you're not getting all the things that you want out of life, you need to change your mindset as far as where you're at today, where you want to be tomorrow. People that have a money-making mindset tend to do well in life. People that don't don't. Plain and simple. So for me to sum that up for you is this. Money greases the wheels. Money buys the grease that greases the wheels. Okay. So without money, you get to be in a tough jam a lot of times because you can't afford the things that you really want or you can't make your payments because there's not enough money coming in. That being said, it's the money making mindset today that I want to talk to you about. This is the very beginning. I'm going to do a lot of videos about this, about making money, how to make money, why you want to make money, so on and so forth. But the very first thing is to talk about your mindset, and your mind's got to be right to make this happen, okay? All right, in school, they do not teach you the financial world. They don't tell you what's going to happen when you hit the real world. They just, you know, teach you your English and your math and history and a lot of things that you aren't going to use in life. Some of you are, like math is extremely important to learn that, which I learned the hard way. But as, as a whole, they don't teach this stuff as you're growing up like they should. And because of that, uh, people are basically taught to grow up, learn a trade, and get a job. Okay, well that's fine, but when you get that job, if you stay in that job, you're only going to make so much money and then you cap out, okay? You can only work so many hours and you're capped out. So unless you're salaried in or something, maybe they give you a better salary and they, they work you a lot more hours, stuff like that. The bottom line is whenever you're in a job, you're just over broke, okay? And, and I have heard that from a lot of different people and it absolutely makes sense. So that being said, um, I started out very poor and I didn't know a real lot about making money. Um, I was 18, my wife was 16 when, when we had gotten married, uh, and of course we started with children right away. We had absolutely nothing. So uh, without going into all the details of that, uh, I was going nowhere. I was going nowhere and I didn't have the education. So it's like financial literacy. I didn't have it. You know, I, I didn't understand how to go out and make better money and how to make your money work for you and you hear a lot of people talk about making your money work for you <coughs> and there's there's a lot of truth behind that so I'm gonna to touch base on that a little bit as we go on um, I heard somebody say that there can be no change in your life without changes being made now when I heard that it took a while for that to set in and I didn't really understand that I'm like I just thought oh well if I work harder at my job or if I go get a second job you know that'll help and then all of our problems will go away well what I didn't count on was the cost of gasoline going through the roof and the cost of living going through the roof and the cost of groceries going through the roof and you know having to get a loan for a car and the insurance is going through the roof and everything just keeps going up higher and higher and higher and my answer is to work harder and harder and harder well, the government's response to that was, Atta boy, go make that money, because the more I made, the more they take. All right, so that wasn't even the solution, okay? So I had to do a lot of thinking, and when, when I'm trying to understand that phrase, you know, there can be no, no changes without changes being made. I'm like, well, what changes am I supposed to do? I'm working two and three jobs now. We're barely getting by. I mean, what am I supposed to do? Well, I had to start looking at videos like this and reading books like this that, that have something to do with making money, you know. And once I started to learn more about that, at first it made no sense to me whatsoever. I was just like, what? I'm not going to risk, you know, the little bit of money I do have on something like that because, you know, what if it fails? You know, I've heard that a million gazillion times. That is the wrong mindset to be in. I'll tell you that right now. I have a, a close acquaintance to my family that refused to change, had a really good business at one time, things started to change and develop around him and he needed to adapt. He refused to adapt, he refused to change, he refused to learn anything new, change any of his habits, and he ended up losing his business, okay? 
there's risk in everything you do in life. But the only thing that's guaranteed is if you don't try, you'll fail. Because you didn't even try. You know? So there, there's a big, big mindset there that you have to get. And that's the first thing you have to get. You have to get out of that that safe way, that safe house, that little square box that you're in. you got to step outside of that box. Get away from that because that's what's holding you back. You're the bottleneck in your company. You're the one that's stopping you. You're the bottleneck right there. You're the reason that you're not succeeding. And I don't care what you say or who you try to blame. The bottom line is, is it's you. In my case, it was absolutely me. I was the one that wasn't. I knew I had to make some kind of change. I just didn't know what to do. Okay? Had to start studying things, you know, had to start you know, watching YouTube and, and reading things. And I, I would read everything I could get my hands on and listening to all these different ideas and people talking. And then ultimately, I had to take chances, okay? I had to take those chances. But once I learned the things to look for and things that I could do to make a difference, it wasn't so hard to make that change because I knew early on I'm going to have to make these changes, okay? So... That's what got me thinking about, about stepping out of the box and I got to do something different because everything I've done inside this box has not worked. We're still in the same boat we were before. The only difference is now we're raising three kids and we're trying to make th that money stretch even farther. And so it really got to be a hassle and a huge problem for me. So what I did, after I got through with the studying, I started taking chances. You know, I started a lawn care company. I think that was the first thing I did. And I started that on the side, and it, it took a lot of, lot of work. But today, I mean, I have uh, just a little background on me. So I have three retail establishments. I have uh, a garden center. These are all sources of income, okay? So three retail establishments, the garden center, the lawn maintenance division, the landscaping division, a pest control division, and a pest control franchise. And I have money in the stock market. So there's literally nine things that I have right now that make money, okay? And we'll get into a whole other video about money making money, but had I not taken that risk in the very beginning, and if I hadn't have had the mindset, to change my mindset to, I want better for my family, I want better for myself, how do I get it? How do I get it? I gotta listen to somebody because I can't afford to go to college and the vast majority of you never went to college, I'm sure. And if you did, you probably wasted your money going there and partying and whatnot and getting doped up. But whatever, man, that's a whole other ball game there. But anyway, um, I, I realized that what I was working or what I was doing wasn't working. So when I stepped out of it, I saw one business start to make money. And then I would take that money from that business and I would turn it into another business and then another and then another and I just kept going, okay, to this date, all right? Um, change is not easy. When you, when I tell you to be in the right mindset and you've got to get the right mindset, remember when I said that it begins and it ends with you? That's because that's exactly the truth. Starts and ends with you. If you don't change and if you don't make some of these changes, you'll stay right where you're at and you'll only get worse because the cost of living is still going to go up, Okay. And if you stay in that same simple job that you're in right now, I, I mean, I can't preach it enough that there's a way better world out there, okay? And there's a lot of things you can do to make money, and we're going into that as this series goes on, okay? Uh, anyway, change is not easy. Change comes with sacrifice. So there's going to be things that you have to do instead of every Friday night going to get a fish fry or going to get movies or going to get drunk and spend $100 at the bar or whatever it is, you're going to have to make some changes because in order for you to get different things, different businesses set up for you to make money, it takes money to make money. You've got to get started somewhere. Okay? So you need money. You need to be conservative. You need to be saving things. And I'll get into that in a whole other video. But good change comes with sacrifice. I'll tell you that right now. Anytime you sacrifice, if, for example, if you go to the gym and you're working out all the time, you know, you'll see a good change in your body, right? Same thing for your mind. If you're, you're constantly feeding your mind with the possibility of doing this and the possibility of doing that versus sitting there watching television with a remote in your hand, being just, just brain dead watching that and not absorbing it and not listening. When I watch YouTube and I'm trying to study things, I'm forever in a day taking notes and writing things down and... I got a gazillion notes everywhere at the end of the night I don't know what to do with, you know. But it all makes sense, and that's how I learn. So that helps me learn. 
but I know that I have to sacrifice things. I have to sacrifice time that maybe, you know, once the kids went to bed, instead of me sitting down and drinking beers and watching television, maybe I was on YouTube studying, maybe I was reading books and studying, but I was trying to make changes, positive changes. So that's what I mean by sacrifice. Okay, it's going to have to do without a few things that your neighbors and your buddies have. They're out drinking. They have a brand new truck. Drive that old rust bucket because what you're building is something for the future. Okay, they're not. They're, they're going doing their job and then they go drinking every night and they give all their money to the bank for that car payment. Well, here's a sacrifice you're going to make. You won't have the fancy truck. You won't be going to the bar all the time because you're going to be putting your money aside so you can start a business, hopefully. That's a mindset. That's a mindset that you have to have. Somehow got to penetrate that into you, okay? That sounded odd. Dang. Anyway, um, all right. So don't be afraid to learn new things because you have to learn new things. None of us know how to go out and become a millionaire. My dad didn't know how to become a millionaire. Neither, neither did his. Did I just say neither? I did. Neither did his dad. There, let's do that. Neither one of them knew how to make a million dollars, okay? End of the day, my dad found a way to do it, okay? I found a way to do it. You can find a way to do it, but you have to get the mindset right of what you want and you have to not give up on it. You have to be after it every night. Like for me, um, when I come home at night, my, my relaxation is getting up there and believe it or not, is finding out more stuff. I go on YouTube, I'm on it almost every night, finding more things that I can listen to, more ideas, things that maybe will help me move my business along further or make more money quicker or I mean it is all kinds of things that I'm looking at all the time new ways to market so there's there's always things that I do and that's that's my sacrifice and maybe I'm not sitting downstairs with my wife and uh, being with her all night long but maybe I take an hour every night and I get up there and I study and I try to focus on some things it usually works out pretty good because she'll do her thing when that, when she comes home I do mine for an hour or two Meet back together, make supper, eat, go to bed. That type of thing, but whatever. It's all about sacrifices. So, that being said, um, changing your habits goes right along with the sacrifice. You know, changing your habits are, again, stop going to the bar all the time and giving them your money. Stop giving the bank all your money. Change your habits. Put it, I don't care if it's in a coffee can and bury it in your yard. Get started somewhere with saving that money so that you can get a business started. Okay, and don't be afraid of the risk of that. So, um, if you don't change, like I said before, the only thing guaranteed is that there will be no change. Okay? So, you have to make a change if you want something different in your life. And you got to get it right up here first. Before you can do it out there, it's got to be right, right here. you got to say, I'm going to do that no matter what. I don't care about the naysayers. I'll give you a prime example. My own father told me that to start up a lawn care company, he's like, oh, there's no money in that. and I made a shit ton of money in that. Well, when I went to buy landscaping equipment, my father was dead set, dead set against that. He's like, oh, there's no money in that. You don't want to put yourself in debt. I make a gazillion dollars off of landscaping. So, you know, there's, th and I knew that by studying things that my dad didn't study. And he, he was afraid to step out of the box, basically. Okay. Dad made a lot of money in his life. He did it a whole different way. But this is what I did in, in my path. Okay. Anyway, um, so if you want that change, Again, you have to have the right mindset, and hopefully this video will help you get there. I can't emphasize it enough that it starts and it ends with you, with what's right up here. And if you're tired of watching your family struggle, and you should be if you're struggling, you should be. If you love your wife and you love your kids, you should be trying to do something else. I hear guys like uh, in the lawn care field, and I'm just, just going to end on this note, I hear guys say, oh, I'm going to stay solo forever because there's no headaches, there's no this, there's no that. I'm actually going to do a video on that. That's a great idea. I'm, and maybe I'll just save it for that. But I'm going, to, I'm going to end with this. Everything is fine and dandy to run a solo outfit until you get hurt. When you get hurt, let's say you're in a car wreck. It's no fault of your own. Let's say you go to the doctor and all of a sudden you have MS or you have cancer or you have something else. And you lose that business? Then what? then it's too late, right? So get it right here, change your mindset, and from there, learn everything you can. I hope this helped. George Packard, Mosquito Police, have a great day.